Hello, Epic Gamers. Welcome back to More Than More Than Here at Grey Ogre Games. I'm Alfian Poon, joined by uh, Just, Just Randall. Randall. <laughs> Just Randall, yes. And today, our great hero, Chong Yi Kang Nick To <laughs> on Grixis Death Shadow is back on the feature match area. He lost his first game, but I put him on the feature match area because he is our main character for this stream. We must... He's the protagonist. He's the protagonist. We have to keep... <laughs> track on how he how he is doing in his different stages of his life so uh, from what we know he has improved from uh, from his scrubby days oh yes he's now a proficient uh, I would say at least above average a, no just at, at least average at least Rixis, average Rixis okay. death shadow player <laughs> and uh, Tan Kevin a new challenger we have not actually seen on stream before so I'm very excited to see how Kevin Tan plays against a veteran a grizzled <laughs> veteran like <laughs> Chong Yi Kang <laughs> right right and we have 41 viewers right now uh, thank you guys for watching you could be anywhere else right now but you chose to be here at twitch.tv slash Grey Ogre Games thanks for joining us thanks for joining us yeah. if, you're, if you're wondering who we are you know we're Grey Ogre Games we we're a little um, local game store in Singapore. 83 uh, Club Street. 83 Club Street. 069451. 069. <laughs> oh, and I see spell color. Is that spirits? Spirited, Ooh, spirited away? Spirits, yeah. Spirited away. Spirits versus Grace's Death Shadow. I think that'd be quite interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Okay, okay. A very okay. proactive matchup. Okay. Oh, and the spirits goes for the mulligan. He goes for the... He goes for the... I'm going to look at the top card of my deck to see if, I, if it's a good card. Then he goes for the mulligan. <laughs> you know, I, I do that all the time too. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no. But see, what if you look at the top card and it's really good? And you're like, oh, I should have kept. Then I'll tell myself I'm not very good at the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess there's one way to put it. <laughs> oh, I think my mic is too loud. Hold on. Let me just... All right, let's get that adjusted. So, we are about... Two weeks now into the B the new BNR. Yeah, yeah, two weeks. Uh, two weeks without the uh, faithless looting. Goodbye, faithless looting. Yeah, goodbye, faithless looting. Goodbye, hello, Stoneforge Mystic. Hello, Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, yeah. and uh, after after next week, it will be hello. Uh, that that free ninja stirring card. What's it called again? Oh, uh, once upon a time. Once upon a time. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and Tan Ooh. Kevin Tan goes for the second, second mulligan. mulligan. Here we see the protagonist power going into play. <laughs> Uh, just destroying the, his uh, destroying <laughs> his opposing enemy just by using his aura yeah, making virtual it, being there yeah just <laughs> making him mulligan down to 5 oh no he can't actually cheating right now <laughs> he's cheating <laughs> totally totally <laughs> but yeah I mean hope Kevin gets a break hopefully he doesn't need to mull a third time yeah let's hope you can not. see what he actually does what's actually doing with his deck okay this is like banned spirits right yeah it's banned spirits let's, let's put that over yeah there. it's a pretty common deck I think it's been around. It's not, it's not that common. But I think um, ever since they printed that Supreme Phantom, I believe that Lord yes. back in M nineteen. Yes. Yeah, it's been more. It's just been a much more consistent deck, I right. believe. Yeah. But is that Mana Leak? I don't. I don't think. I'm not sure if Ben Spirits plays Mana Leak. I'm not sure either. I mean, mm, that's interesting. I don't interesting. know why. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mana Leak's okay. Mana Leak's okay. It's, it's, it's a it's counter spell. It is, it is Mana Leak. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mana Leak. I see a path. It's path. Okay. Uh, oh no, Yi Kang is going first, so he's going to Street Rave. And just like that, Kevin Tan knows immediately that he's playing against Grixis Death Shadow because yep, yep. no one in the world will play uh, Street Rave without playing Grixis Death Shadow. Yeah, and oh, Fat Shock. Wow. Okay. Just, just, going, just, going, just going for it. Yeah, I'm just going for it. Going straight into the red zone. <laughs> yeah, the red zone. I, I, don't mean the, I don't mean the fighting zone. I mean his life going yeah, to the red zone. <laughs> going to the red zone, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, just two life, just three life off of getting a Grixis yeah, yeah. A Death, Sh Death Shadow he down. He can't committing some insurance fraud by like hitting himself a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's one way to put it. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I, I think I think Death Shadow has always been a very interesting deck to me. Yeah, it, it's you're really towing the line. It's actually been a, it's actually it's actually been touted to be in a better position right now because mm. of after the bannings. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. been hit. It's said that every deck that has not been hit by the ban list actually got buffed. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I could say that. I because, could see that. Sorry. Because all the all their deck, all their opponents, which is the unfair decks playing Faithless Looting, mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. the Phoenixes, all the whole gags, they got banned, and w which in turn makes their matchups a lot better. Yeah. Right? Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's always interesting to see what one little banning can do. And I think Faithless Looting, well, not a very little banning, a no, lot no. of decks ran out. A lot because of, of decks that. died, man. Yeah. Dredge, rest in, Dredge is goodbye. Well, he I mean, takes the mana leak. Interesting, interesting. Wow, Yikang is very afraid of Conspell. Okay. Yeah. 
I would have actually taken the noble higher up. Yeah. I oh. mean, w- without the noble higher up, Kevin has literally nothing to do. Right, right. Yeah. Noble higher up I w- was a really strong play, I think. Correct. I think a lot of people really underestimate how good these one mana mana dogs are. Yeah. And how they really scale into the game and how they add value in the long run. Especially one that gives Exalted. Yeah. Honestly, Noble Hierarch, when I first saw its price, I was it just boggled my mind. Why is this so expensive? It's just a mana dog. But that Exalted really does a lot of work. It does, it does. Yeah. It attacks without ex- ex- actually attacking. Actually attacking, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, honestly, I've, that's probably the best way to explain <laughs> Exalted. <laughs> explain why it's so good, sorry. Right. Yeah. And I mean, even the path, he kept the path in his hand. That's that's also weird. I mean, isn't path is really good against Death Shadow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, I'm not, I don't think Kevin actually knows that he's playing his Death Shadow. I just think it's Puff is just good, just yeah. good cut. So why not just keep doing? No, I, mean, I don't know why Ikan kept. Oh uh, right, Puff, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In that's, Kevin's hand. that's true. Actually, fail push. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So he he kept he left the lower high there just for fail push. Yeah. Okay. But I still think the Puff. I mean, the Puff would have been good too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, maybe Ikan would ha- like the land. I don't think he minds having more lands. That's true. That is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, I think Ikang would run his own suite of counter spells as well. Yeah, so like maybe he's not worried about the four path. stubborn denials. You know, oh, stubborn denials so good in Death Shadow. One mana count. One mana negate. Yeah, imagine, imagine negate, but it's just single blue. Brilliant, brilliant, man! It's, bri- it's, it's amazing. Yeah, but I think Ikang really nothing much to do in his. Oh, he's down twelve. It's Death Shadow time. Yeah, but I didn't see a Death Shadow in his hand. And he's only at what two d- two cards. Oh, maybe you're blind. Oh really? Was that the <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I'm just, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see if I'm blind or not. Oh yeah, I don't Stay know. Stay tuned, viewers. It's either it's either you're blind or I'm like, all right, delusional <laughs> <laughs> or schizo. I really didn't see anything. In yeah, so didn't see Ikang's anything. Hand. He's kept them on the on top of Nahiri's face for quite a while. Weep Nahiri's face. Weep Nahiri. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, do you like the Japanese? I think you know, some of them, most of them, yeah. Some yeah. of them, not really. Like, I think I really like. I mean, everyone likes Naset. Naset's pretty good. Yeah, Naset. Naset looks pretty cool. Naset's very cool. Uh, I didn't really like Nissa. Nissa's so cute. I, I like Nissa. What are you talking about? As in, Nissa was a bit too cutesy for my taste. No, that's what you're supposed to go for in the anime. Eh? The cutesy shit. Well, yeah, but <laughs> not in magic, you know. I mean, but it's an alternate art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? The market, so the market just didn't fit. For the me. market disagrees with you because she is one of the more expensive of the yeah, rest. Just she's <laughs> cutesy and she's got two big reasons. Two big reasons. Yeah, okay, she's man. a good card. Wait, and is that Ice Fang Kotal? This not this. This might not actually be Ben Spirits. Where Ice Fang Kotal? Is oh. this Soul Herder? Is he playing Soul Herder? Well, he just played Stoneforge Mystic, didn't he? Do the commentators see the chat? Yes, we do. Hello, hello, Scarab, Scarab God, God H. H. Yes. You're the first one to actually talk, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the the last the last round was the the one, last round was a replay, replay so we yeah. won we won actually in the chat. Yeah, yeah. So yes, we do we do we do pay attention to the chat if you guys wonder. Yes. Yeah. So um, I think that was Ice Fang Koto. Yeah, and yeah. that's a battle skull in hand. Okay, so this might not actually be spirits. So yeah, <laughs> this does little piece it's of spirits. It's a little though. weird blue white. Uh, well, no, it was just kind. No, it's bent. It's, it's bent. It's oh, bent. Yeah. So bent. I think it's, it's uh, it might be soul herder. Honestly, I would love to see that. Have you not seen soul the soul herder deck before? I have seen it, but I haven't watched a full game of it. Ah. So I would love to see that. I've, I've, yeah, same, same. I, I would like to see a soul herder mm. gameplay. And here comes Ooh, Gormak, Gormak Angler. Angler, big fish, big fish, big stats, big stats. No, five five is okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Bent stone forge. Okay. That's I, a nice name. I believe you. Let's, let's just let's <laughs> change it. I believe you, Scarab God H. I, 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 honestly, I believe you. <laughs> ben Stone Forge. Thank, thank you, thank you. We'll, thank we'll, you. We'll, 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 we will just change it to that. Yeah. Oh, and uh, a Death Shadow comes down as well. So oh, wow. Okay. Really good turn for Yikang here. We have, I think I would have liked it better if he just left the fish there and then, and then let, left the, the let the path go to the fish. Hmm. Then I'll play the Death Shadow afterwards. Right. No? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Right. I could see that, yeah. Or maybe if you if you value the fish more, you can play the Death Shadow first, then the fish later. Yeah. I mean, here, he's he's basically letting Kevin know that, you know, he's got both things. Right. And if Kevin is playing Bent, Yikang is not in any danger of getting burnt out. Right, so right. So he can definitely play it slower. Right, yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah, I, I would have liked, liked the slow play better. Because, mm. I mean, if, let's say, 
in your case, if you didn't play the Death Shadow, then next turn Ikan could just swing in with the girl mag. Yeah, he gets yeah. path, but you know. Yeah, see now the path going to the Death Shadow. Yeah, yeah. And now uh see, Yikang's out of cards in his hand. But mm. I think it's not it's not. He's it's got one card. I don't know what that is, but he's got one. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. But yeah. Oh no, he has one card in his hand, sorry. Yeah. He's got one card. It's one card, okay, it's okay. Maybe it's another Death Shadow, who knows? It might be. Oh no. You know, Yikang might have just played us. Yeah, he oh. is the protagonist of the yeah, story. Yeah, oh, he's the main <laughs> character. You know, you know when you when you watch the you watch the cartoons or like the shows with the the card games, yeah, yeah. and then the protagonist is like Hmm. This is a hard situation, but this one card in my head is actually the thing that gets me out of this situation. <laughs> oh yes, I win! <laughs> my deck is full. Was it? My deck is. My deck has no useless cards. My deck has no useless cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I could see that being a death. Yeah, shadow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, let's see it. Let's see it, man. Or yeah. maybe, maybe it's like a. Uh, uh, what sorry? Uh, what's that? Snap custom mage. Oh, snap, snap, snap would be good. Yeah, yeah. Snap or maybe hand attack. Hand attack would be good, right? Mm. Yeah, any in- Inquisition and Thought Seas would be good. That's a swamp! That's lame! Oh. That's a swamp! <laughs> well, I mean, he's, he's still got the 5-5 five five to beat in. And Kevin goes down a third of his life. Down yeah, he plays a swamp. Oh, he top decks something. Was it 5 mana? He cast the Street Rave! <laughs> a hard-casted Street hard Rave! Hard-casted Street Rave! Oh, it ain't every yeah. day you see that. <laughs> wow. Wow. He can't going for the safer play instead of just cycling the Street Rave. Hard-casting the 3-4 swamp walking creature. <laughs> Wow, that's it's not often. Not, not often. Not every day you see a street rave and a Gomek angler side by side. On yeah, like, on the same field. And it's not every day I see a Grixis Death Shadow having five lands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that's exactly. really weird. Five lands on Grixis Death Shadow. <laughs> actually, you know what? Uh, he can't actually talks to me a lot. About, he complains a lot about being about being like land stuck or mm-hmm, l- mm-hmm. or land flooded all the time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, even if, even after this, I bet after this, he'll walk up to me and be like, you saw how I was land flooded this game? <laughs> Guaranteed. It's all the time. Always on stream. Just because of you. <laughs> and here you go. Geist of St. Traff. A Ooh, very... This is a very pretty... potent card here. Very potent card. Very good on the attack. But right mm. now, I think Tan, Kevin Tan is on the defense. Yep. Or actually, no. If Yi Kang uh, goes for an attack here, he's going to die to the, the Geist of St. Traff. Yep. I mean, if even if he attacks, he's definitely going to attack with just the angler, just, I believe. Yeah, yeah. True, yeah. true, true. true. Keeping that street rave to block that. Yeah, guy's but then if he gets puffed, oh no, that's. Oh, he's going both? Oh. Does, does he. Oh, no, oh, this is very brave. Yeah, I guess uh, he is looking at the, the line where he gets puffed, then he dies anyway. Yeah. So oh. then you would want the Does he have bolt? Does he have two damage? K command? Oh, nothing. Nothing? He's gonna die to the guys. Wait, 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 maybe he has. No, he's he, got something. He's a main character. He's a main character. He has it. He has it. He, maybe he's got a path to kill the angel? He's a main character. Where is it? No, he, that's six. Where is it? Where is it? No! Oh, oh, what? He, he punted! He punted! Our main character punted! <laughs> no, no, no worries, no worries. You know, in all these like good stories, it's they're always losing first and yeah, then they yeah, win. You're yeah, right, you're yeah. right, you're right. You know, uh, not not of the question, you know, uh, the protagonists are very brave. Yes, yes. He's I, very, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> he is very brave. Either very brave or very unsavvy of what <laughs> guys of St. Traff does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I think he <laughs> forgot. He probably forgot. Let's let's not kid ourselves. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, you know, or, or, or he just didn't think that it was six damage. <laughs> or maybe he didn't know. He didn't think that Kevin would attack. Maybe he think Kevin <laughs> would just like hang back. <laughs> oh, whoops, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so that's the first game. I mean, first game. Yeah, I mean, it's not not a very big deal, right? Yeah. There's still two more games to go. Right. Kang being the main character, he can probably win two games back to back. Like no, no big deal, yeah. right? I mean, unfortunately, I think that was very much Kang's losing to himself. Yeah, like yeah, he definitely could have won that. Uh, won he, could that round. he could definitely have won. Yeah. <laughs> he was in a commanding position the whole way, and then, yeah. you know, I think I think the thing is, the thing with Griffith's Death Shadow, right, is you want to, you want to attack when it's time to attack, right? Yeah. Yep. But if you attack when it's not time to attack, you're going to be at six life, and your opponent's just going to kill you in one shot. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Was, <laughs> I think the 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 interesting part here is that. Kevin literally did no damage besides the killing blow. Right, yeah. right. That's the best part. Like, you can't really use it. <laughs> he, pulled, he pulled it 75% of the way. And Kevin was like, yeah, okay, then I'll just, yeah, kill you. <laughs> you you got me down. You killed me. No, you did that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one who killed yourself. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's the really interesting thing about Gre- Death Shadow. Like, you really need to be wary of where your life level is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I agree, I agree. I mean, even if Death Shadow, you want your Death Shadow to be bigger, it, it doesn't always need to be that big. Right, right, right yeah. yeah. Ma- you know what? Maybe you, maybe you have gotten there if he 
did the thing with we we mentioned earlier where he just played the Gomet Angler and not both the Gomet yeah, Angler and perhaps. The, the Death Shadow. Yeah, because that Death Shadow would have been a yeah, what, seven Shadow seven. Was, yeah, yeah, we've done. Yeah, and w- you know what? It's what seven minus five. Oh, two yeah. more damage. Two more damage. Look, 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 look. He's at two. <laughs> oh no! Wait a second. He would have been. Dead. He would have been dead. <laughs> the math checks out. The math checks out, fellas. <laughs> I mean, he would have one less attack step, though. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so what do, what do you think is, like, the big cards that are going to be sideboarded in here? Big cards? Uh, if I was Ikang, I'd be, like, thinking of maybe... <sighs> Engineer Explosives? Oh, Engineer Explosives is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, if I was Kevin, I, I'm not really very familiar with the Ben Stoneforge deck. Yeah, this is a This is kind relatively of... This new. is a relatively new deck. Mm, and mm. I, that's, this deck is... The result of a lot of new tech yep. from the last ban list yep. uh, and the recent MH sets as well. Uh, additions being uh, the Ice Fan Koto, you know? Oh, yeah. Honestly, that Stone was really interesting package. To see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ice Fan Koto. You know, I think every deck that plays green and blue mm. will probably play the Snow Islands and Snow Forest. No, yep. the, the Snow Pointer, sorry. Because the Ice Fan Koto just so much value, right? Yeah. It's. People played Bilfu's tricks in Legacy. Yeah. If it's good enough in Legacy, it's probably good enough in Modern. Yeah, it is, it is. Well, I no, mean, doesn't apply to all cards. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think before Modern Horizons was coming out, everyone was speculating on what they were going to reprint for Modern. And Bilfu's tricks was one of the highest yeah. like, cards. Bilfu's tricks spiked. It, like, it went for like $1 to $10. Yeah. And I... <laughs> I mean, when they reprinted it, everyone was like, oh, well, I guess it's Bilfu's tricks. I guess it's Bilfu's <laughs> tricks. <laughs> But yeah, I think this is the first day I've seen it actually being played. Uh, besides, like, oh, really? MH draft. Oh no! Wait, you've been missing out, man. A lot of decks have been playing this Ice Fan Koto. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of decks, a lot of the bent decks in general, right? Mm. They have moved into the the snow, the snow, the snow, the snow plan. Sorry, mm. because Ice Fan Koto is just so much value. Yeah. Flash one one Death Touch blocker, and draws a card. Yeah. It's a it's a one one Flash f- Death Touch. Yeah. I mean, when when you really think about it. There is no reason to run basic lands over snow lands. Yeah. There's literally no reason. Right, right. And the thing is, <laughs> Modern Horizons has... F- ha- if you're going to you're gonna say that, oh no, snow-covered lands are so expensive, they're yeah. so hard to get. No, but MH has reprinted all of them. Yeah. They, you can literally just get them for like 10 cents now. Okay, well, I don't think it's that cheap. <laughs> I still think it's a few dollars, you know. No, no, th- wait, no, no, they're not. Yeah, per, per snow land, I think it's still a bit... No, no, every, no, every pack comes with a snow land. Yeah, but okay, yeah, go SCG, SCG, SCG. But the but Mono Horizon packs are so expensive. That's the problem. It's not that expensive. It's, mm, uh, it's more expensive. Uh, see, 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 see. Cold snap, one fifty. Fifty uh, cents. Fifty cents. That's not ten. Uh, whatever, man. <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> I buy from players will be fifty cents. Oh, ten cents. Fair. Okay, the snow covered planes. I think I think the more expensive ones are still the islands and the mountains. Oh, really? Especially mountains, because of um because of script in the older format. No one plays script anymore. Oh, uh, I mean, I think Popper still yeah, does. Yeah, I learned, I learned, I learned, <laughs> Popper. Yeah, not even a dollar. Oh, actually. You know, I'm surprised, actually. I th- I thought it was more expensive. Still coming out. Still coming out. It's not one dollar. No, it's okay. not. It's, it's 75 cents now. Yeah. Well, I'm, unless you're talking about Singapore dollars, then yes. It is. Then it it's, is, it is, is a dollar, yes. It is a single Singapore dollar, yes. Yeah, but overall, I like the Snowlands. I like I like that they made the Snowlands more relevant with Modern Horizons. I like that they made it more, you know, accessible. Yeah. So that yep. Simple pleeps like us can just buy them. Yep. And I really like Arkham's Astro Lab. Astro oh, Lab. Labe? Lab. Astro Lab. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you, can't pronounce that properly. <laughs> it's I a mean, good card. It's a good card. It's so good. It's, it's Prophetic Prism, but one mana. But one mana? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's good. And all, the, all you need to do is just play, a, play have some Snowlands in your yeah. deck. That's just, it. Yeah. You, you just need one. Right. Brilliant. Oh, and Ikang is just going to play the Blastin, Maya, and Pass. That's a very weak source play. No, he played the Mishra's Bauble. Oh right, right. Never mind. But yeah, he did. <laughs> he, he, did play, he did play the Mission's Bubble, but he then he but busted Maya and passed. That's not yeah. very. That's not very good. That color fix. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the I think it opened up a lot of uh, older decks to play more colors than maybe two or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like four colors decks. Like the word, like Greeks, like Greeks was Oh it? yeah, Greeks was yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, the Giver of Runes is gonna be the first turn play from Kevin. Actually, one of the strongest plays that uh, oh. any any deck plays. Uh, Stone, Stone Give, Forge Giver of runs. Runes yeah. or Stonewatch Mystic can play. Honestly, that's really good against Death Shadow. Right now, the only thing Death Shadow can do against the Stone Forge is counter it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but, I mean, well, I guess Inquisition, but yeah. I, I don't. I'm not sure if Ikang plays the spells there. 
because it's right, not right. spell snare is not a very card commonly played in Gracie's Death Shadow. Yeah. Although some people do play as a because it's like a pet card or like because yeah. it's cool, it's very funny to to like psych your opponent out, mm. like aha, you're gonna play a two CMC card, but I a Grixis Death Shadow player have <laughs> a spell snare bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I I think spell snare is a lot better in this current meta. Yeah, there's yeah. so many more deck but there's so many more decks running to cost spells. Right, right. Okay, let's see what Ikang's play here is. He played... He turned one... Oh, wait, is he... No, he's stuck on one <laughs> land! <laughs> no. Oh, he passed! Oh, no! Wait, this is not what main characters are supposed to do. Oh, no! Oh, Oh, dear. this is not what oh, he wants. No. This is not what oh, he wants. No. Ikang, I did not put you on the picture match for this. No. It's quite sad. I mean, he, he used the thoughts card himself yeah. to get a land, but instead... He milled the land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do, oh what, do you, no. what do you think about that? What do, you, do you think he should have, like, thought scoured Kevin instead? Do you think that makes sense? Honestly, I think... Mathematically, does it make a difference? No. Yeah. I, I, th I think it doesn't make any difference, <laughs> yeah. Thought scouring... He, he just wants the, the... I mean, he probably has a Gurmak Angler in hand. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's why he that, wanted to thought scour himself. That makes, his that makes his hand a bit less bad then, I guess. Yep. That's not bad. But you're playing against Ben Stoneforge... That Gamak is gonna die. Hunger. This is MC character development. <coughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, he, this person, this this main character has already gone through two years of character development on stream. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. guess like another day of character development is not. It's not out of the question. It's not out of the question. And you know what? Main characters develop every day. Yeah. It, it's not. You, you don't just stop at one point. You learn every day. Learning never stops. So the next round, Yikang comes. Yeah, he just Yikang comes on the before getting back up. <laughs> yeah. So I guess the next time Yikang comes on stream, he'll definitely win all his games. That's right, that's <laughs> right. You, have you, you play Dota? Dota I do two? play Dota. Dota 2. Have you heard of this mechanic called Pseudo RNG? No. So right, in Dota 2, there's this mechanic called Pseudo RNG. Uh, let's say, it's, it's, it's a different way of implementing RNG, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say the skill says 10% for X to trigger. Okay. So they will do it in a way that the first instance will be like 2%. Then the next is to add on like three percent. Oh, then it'll add on, add on, add on. It's until like a, yeah, like a pity, like a pity timer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Timer, yeah. timer. So then, so but then it'll it'll average out to ten percent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So maybe Yi Kang has a pseudo RNG. <laughs> now he loses. That, that, that means the next time he plays, he'll has a he lose chance. less. He lose less. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> training montage. Exactly. You'll see a training montage. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna f let's let's feel let's have a GOG video right featuring some. Of, we need to feature. We need to in have like some. Uh, player content, right? Yeah. You need to interview the players, like have some, you know, because we've it's always been a uh, a a goal of the stream to be mm. very, mm. to base our stream around the players. We want to promote the players, right? Yep. Because if essentially these players are is what these players are what grow the stream ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eye of Tiger, yes, this guy's this guy is Eye of Tiger. Da -da 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 -da. Oh and. Kevin has the Feast of Famine. Yeah. Sort of Feast of Famine. He and Yi Kang, oh, he gets it. He gets the second land, Bloodstained Mire. Oh, no. And here comes the comeback. This, this is it, folks. This is it. This is the start. He's got a full grip, two land, and he's ready to rumble. Yeah, that's right. J J J w J J w C P P JWC P9. Yes. Ash Ketchum <laughs> did take 20 years to win the league. Maybe it'll take Yi Kang 20 years to be good. Win a game? Yeah. <laughs> Please ask Mr. Tan to roll the, his sleeves up more. <laughs> oh, he's not using a master roll. Oh, that's true, man. That's true. <laughs> 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 Alright, so... um, Okay, but Yi Kang, realistically, still in a very bad position here. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's very good. Yeah, that's yeah, okay, sort of... Bad, bad, bad is correct. Bad is correct. That sort of Feast and Famine is going to really do a number on him. Yeah, especially... You know, going to run out of cards. Uh, Yuki's Death Shadow is a bit of a control deck. Yep. It's very... It's not... I would say con a full control deck, but it leans very heavily in the control side. Yep. And losing cards from your hand is something a control deck does not want to do. Yeah. GDS always struggling versus value and grindy decks. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. He... he You've got it. You've got a down pat, Resi one. Yes, that's exactly it, because it's it's like what we talked about earlier, right? Mm. The like like rack. Yeah. GDS is essentially another discard deck. Yep. You have the Inquisition. You have the Thought Seas. Thought you have like everything else. Yeah. Well, instead instead of rack, it's like Death Shadow, right? And yes. You still right. want to one for one your opponent, and you know throw in the occasional two for one with the mm. Hologun's command, mm. value your opponent out, play like big creatures. Yeah. For very cheap. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. <laughs> they like to say. 
but I think in this case, I think the way Ikan comes back. Oh, a braid oh, is a, a good. Braid. That's really good. That's good. That's a good way to come back. Very nice. Very nice. I was just about to say he needs a Collagon's <laughs> command to get rid of that sort, but yes. a braid. A That's the job. Good. A yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, he's probably going to get rid of the sword there. That block with the Gurmak Angler. The question here is now, does Kevin have a response? I see that might be Force of Negation, but he can't actually play that right now because he's tapped out. And Correct. He cannot play the che He cannot play the alternate course on his turn. Yep. But I mean, um, he can still give that creature protection from black. Uh, with the... So oh, no, actually, Ikan couldn't block in the first place. Oh yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. And here comes another Stoneforge Misty. It's probably going to fetch like another sword or... A better skull probably. Better skull, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean usually they only run one skull. One skull, one sword. Mm, true, true. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah they, you, you mentioned... Yeah, you got it. It's the better skull. Mm -hmm. I see some lists they play two swords though. Oh, I think, I think it's more for insurance because yeah. I think once, once the sword's in the yard, there's not much you can do to bring it back. Right, right. Yeah. It's pretty hard to get a battle scout in the graveyard like, too, right? Because Correct. sometimes you can just bounce it. Yep. I mean, usually the safest thing about battle scout is you want to keep that three mana open. So if anything really drastic happens to it, you bring it back to hand. Right, right. Yeah. But now it's Ikang's turn. Uh, can Ikang really do something here? I think he has a third land. He has a bunch of removal. Mm -hmm. He's going to attack? Is he attacking? Yeah, I mean, if I were Ikang, the one thing I'm scared about is just Kevin getting too much value right. and running away with the game. And okay, uh, right here, I think he's going to he's going to try and fish something out of Kevin by casting the Lightning Bolt. Mm -hmm. And here, the Lightning Bolt, unfortunately, has to target the Giver of Runes. Right. If not, they're just going to get pro red. Yeah. And actually, not, it's not, I wouldn't say he comes in a bad spot either because he does have a lot of cards in his hand. He's still, he, does. he still has gas to go. Yeah. So he's not out of the game yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Grixis Death Shadow is one of the more explosive decks. You, know, you just stick a big Death Shadow, you put Team of Battle Rage on it, you've won the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true, that's true. We can, can win out of nowhere sometimes. Yep. And uh, I don't think Ikang is playing the package, but there's some reanimate his Death Shadow. Oh, guns. yeah, yeah. But I, that's that's like the really janky, funky kind of mm. people who play that. Oh, the, the guys who okay, play yeah. like Lightning Skelemental. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that card. That's it's so cool, cute. that's cool, man. Like, Lightning Skelemental is cool. Yeah. Oh, and Lightning Bolt going on the Give of Runes, he's yep. gonna give uh, probably pro, pro black. black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he gets a free block on the Gummack Angler. Yep, yep. Makes sense, makes sense. Well, yeah, but I don't think the Gummack Angler is gonna attack at this point. But yeah, he can't bring it back. I mean, he's getting the lands, he's getting what he needs. You know, he's in a better position now. That abrade was really key, I think. Yeah, that, that abrade was very strong. Yeah. yeah. He's so gonna the, fetch. Yep. Oh, he's gonna fetch Shock? Was that Shock? I, I think he's shocking. Yeah, he's yeah. shocking. Probably has a Death Shadow in hand. He's oh. so gonna bring that Ooh, down. Death Shadow. I think the awkward position here for Kevin is that he's got Force of Negation, right? But most of what Ikang is casting is gonna be creatures anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, there might have been an argument to Force of Negation, the, the Lightning Bolt. right? Yeah. yeah. That would be pretty funny. But then Kevin would be like two for one himself yes. for, a, for a Giver of Runes. Which, to be fair, Giver of Runes is pretty important in this yeah, actually, at this stage. You're not wrong. I, I might actually have thrown the Force of Negation. For yeah. Them. I mean, well, who knows? Maybe Kevin might just have another Giver Runes in hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe. So, yeah. But, honestly, as much as people say how... As much as people talk about how good Force of Negation is, you know, exiling the extra blue card really hurts you in the long run. Oh, he really did have the, the Death Shadow. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, that's a f so he has two 5-5s five on the board as now. As expected from our main character. Yep. Really pulling it back. Okay. And Kevin here in a still still okay, not very behind. I won't say behind. He's he does have the path to exile on his hand. Yep. But uh I don't think Ikan will be very upset having the extra land. Oh and he does have the second sword. Top decks the sword of fire and ice. Ooh, so he does have they do he does run two swords. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> sword of fire as well. Sword of fire and ice said to be the strongest sword of them all, generating you a lot of value and like giving some removal as well. You know, honestly, I it, it's what deal two damage to a creature and draw a card. If you if you deal hit, damage. if you hit like com no, 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 no. If you deal damage to your opponent. Oh, okay. With deal the damage creature, to your opponent. With the, with the creature. If right. You, if a quick creature deals damage to your opponent. I don't know. Is it that strong? I feel like feast and famine is stronger because it untaps all your lands. I think it depends. Honestly, it depends on like what colors you're up against. That's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, Feast of Famine here. I mean, 
sorry, uh, Fire and Ice here is not gonna give any protect any relevant protection against Death Death Shadow. I mean, it stops bo- your guys from being bolted. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but Feast of Family stops you guys from getting bolted because of the plus two plus two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Yeah. But he's gonna shock himself with the Temple Garden. It's two damage to any target. Yeah. Really? Two damage to any yeah, target. Yeah. Yes. Any target. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You didn't know. <laughs> Randall, you bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 huh? Anyway, he's gonna path to exile onto the Death Shadow, like I predicted. Uh, wow. he can't most likely gonna let this through unless he has a, a stubborn denial. But uh, yeah, uh, Death Shadow goes to exile, and mm-hmm. Ikang is pr- gonna get a basic land. I think it's not best. It's, it's not actually very bad for Ikang anyway. Yeah. Yep. Razi, nice job on the stream. What city is this in? This is in Singapore. We are in a uh, Club Street zero uh, Club A three Club Street zero six nine four five one here in sunny Singapore. We are a, a city in Southeast Asia. Yeah, really small city. Really small city. Yeah, yes. the bottom of Malaysia. Some say <laughs> some say we are still with Malaysia. Yeah, but <laughs> but that's actually not true. <laughs> yes, we are our own. We are our own country now. <laughs> yes, yes. That that was like what fifty years ago. A very long time very ago. Long time ago. I wasn't, I wasn't even born back yeah. then. Nowadays, not very sunny. Yes, yes, hung, yes. Hungary no, very true. We, there was a there was a heavy rain just now. Yeah, there was heavy rain. I had to take I take a taxi because of the rain. Mm. Yeah. yeah, because I, of the rain. Upsetty, upsetty. <laughs> <laughs> no, so totally not because I was lazy or anything. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> and yeah, I mean sometimes the haze. Let's haze nowadays. Sometimes. Yeah, that's haze. So, yeah. but yeah, you know, normal normal stuff. I wish we had the red the red the red sky like Indonesia did. Oh, that would be cool. I want to see that red sky. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that is pretty cool. So yeah, um, Ikang here, he needs to... As- he's still not out of the woods. He still needs to assemble a few more threats for him to actually do something because at this point, he's still not doing enough damage to get Kevin down to zero. Yeah, he needs, yeah. He needs a lot more than just a Gomek Angler. Yep. He's going to swing in for five, but Kevin still has a lot of cards in his hand. Yeah. And he does have two creatures on board. But he's going to take it. Okay, okay. okay. That's okay. fair. But Ke- now you have an untapped Gomek Angler. That's the problem. I mean, uh, a tap, tap, sorry. Gomer Angler, a tap, yeah. Angler. It's okay. He can't has like four cards in hand. He can do something. True. And he has five lands now. He, he's, he's from, from land start. See, start from the bottom. Now he's here. Now, yeah. now he's here. <laughs> With five lands, yeah. Wow. You can imagine just now he was stuck on one land. Now he has five lands. Oh, yeah. As, mu- as, as much lands. As, as much many as lands, Kevin. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Kevin. Amazing. Wait, what's happening? Oh, Ikang, uh, our main character is uh, is uh, in peril. In peril. <laughs> He's asking for advice, <laughs> <laughs> getting uh, support from his friends, yeah. like they all like the main characters do. That's how they win. That's how they win. Yeah. Not, Holy not mother, scre- Holy mother of glare. Yeah, we do. We do acknowledge that it's a glare problem. Mm. <laughs> what card is that anyway? That is that the. That's the stone forge mystic. That's a stone forge mystic, yeah, right? Right. It's hard to see. Yes, we are working. We are working on a. Uh, we're working on these problems, the glare as well, the camera. So yeah, just trying to stay tuned for that, and trying to tell people not to wear those these sleeves. <laughs> oh, you can as much as possible. Can, well, we support. We we fully support the the non glare sleeves uh-huh, that, uh-huh. that brands make nowadays. You know that's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, what's, what's he asking though? That's a good question. Not sure what call he's asking for. I think he's asking for like Oracle text, probably. Maybe there's a Japanese card down there. They, on look, the board? they look English. Yeah. Rest looks really high quality. Thank you. Thank you, MOC Barashin. Thank you very much. Seems good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. You ever seen this emote before? I've not seen the emote before. Oh you're not you're it's not a twi- you're not a Twitch dude. You're not a Twitch guy. Yeah, most of the time I kinda close it. Take that follow. Thank you. Thanks for the follow. Oh thank you. Thank you for the oh, follow. We've not been shouting our followers actually. Oh yeah. Oh no, we have a uh, we have a uh, Jav Javonillo, spicy peach tart. I Torville, Razi One, DM yeah, Razi Ra- One, and Mock Barashin. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Eighty-four viewers right now. This is pretty wow, good viewership. Wow, for for Wednesday night. For Wednesday yeah, night. Yeah, eighty-four viewers is a lot. Wednesday nights don't we don't normally have this much viewers, but mm-hmm, Wednesday mm-hmm. night you guys are probably bored, very bored. No, no. Maybe maybe, maybe Modo is down. People <laughs> like people <laughs> like the sound of your voice, Alfie. <laughs> let's let's go with that. <laughs> all right, man. All right. And here you go, collective brutality going on to Stoneforge mystics. Oh, uh, love that card. You can't not out of gas yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but what does Kevin have as an answer? He's tapped two mana. Oh, he's better got the skull. He's got oh. bring in the better skull. Okay. Yeah. Man, <laughs> the joy is down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you. Let me miss thank that for that <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> yeah. And I think I think here a good play from Kevin. He had that force of negation. Didn't need to use it. You know. The Stoneforge Mystic bringing down the Battle Skull 
it served its purpose. Right, exactly. Can let it exactly. Die. Yeah. And now the battle score is just going to be a very annoying uh it's gonna be very annoying for Ikang to deal with. Yeah. Oh wait, no, it is it isn't down. I can game and watch it at the same time. Pog 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 champ. Pog champ. Pog champ. Yeah, then that's that's usually my setup as well. If I'm playing something at home, like maybe Final Fantasy XIV, it's like there's a stream in the second on the second screen, yeah. and I'm playing oh, wait, no, a game said, on the first you said, screen. You said the forbidden word. What? Final Fantasy XIV. Why? If you say that in front of Joe, he'll slap you. Why? <laughs> because he plays the FM. Play every level. Yeah, he does. <laughs> the OG. The OG, <laughs> man. <laughs> Two more. Uh, you know what? I'm, I've, I'm like one of those... Oh, yes, K Command. Oh, that's so big. Oh, that's oh, really this is good. Going to, this is going to force out a force, force of negation. Of negation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this yeah, great timing on the force of negation here. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Kevin just had to pull it right there. Yeah. That was like, if I don't do it, I'm going to probably lose the game. Yeah. I mean, definitely a lot of restraint. He showed a lot of restraint. There were a lot of things he could have cast. Yeah, there are a lot yeah. of... Yeah, he could have done that a long time ago. But he, yeah. I think this is like the most... This was the most... Uh, the best moment to use it. Yeah. And oh, he yeah. just loses. Oh, no. Yeah. And that was that was honestly good good play from Kevin. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, re- that, his his patience and discipline on the force of negation really got him the win here. Yeah, I mean, like you were saying just now, he could have used the on the bolt uh, for give of runes, but obviously the, the reason why Kevin's playing in us, is yeah, still, yeah, you know, he, he, he has the patience. A good, he's a, he has the patience. He's a good player. Yeah, this is why he's playing the bent. Uh, I guess bent stone forge as like uh. If you feel as a mid range value deck, mm, you want to mm. you want to squeeze as much value as possible from your cards, right? Yeah. Because all those other cards that Kevin could have casted, uh, could have countered with force of negation, they were one for ones. Mm. This call cast command, that's a two for one. Correct. If correct. you stop that two for one, that's like, okay, uh, that's still two for two because you have to you have to pitch yeah, something with force yeah. of negation, right? But, but in that situation, you're right, it's so valuable. That is very valuable. Yeah. I would say that easily that force of negation like just won him the game on the spot. Hundred percent. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching Modern Modern here at Grey World Games. This was round two. Chongi Kang versus Kevin Tan. Unfortunate. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> our main character has lost on the stream. Oh. The first game due to very embarrassing, <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> oversights. Yeah. But, you know, he, he managed to really pull it back in the second game. I thought it was over, you know, yeah. when he was stuck on two lands. But he really he brought himself back into yeah, the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. He, he put up he put up a fight. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. And uh yeah, uh, if you want to find more of this action, you can always check us on YouTube, youtube.com slash great okay games. Uh, all our events uh will be uploaded there when they end, so do stay tuned on that. And if you're watching on YouTube, catch us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash great okay games. We stream our uh we stream this exact modern event live mm-hmm. uh every Wednesday, GMT plus eight Singapore time, eight PM. 8 PM. 8 PM. So, so just just be there. And sometimes on our weekends, Sundays especially, we have special events that are normally five round, six round, cut to top eight Swiss. Mm. Uh, if mm. you want to find out more about those events, you can always check us out on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Great Ogre Games. We will also post when we are going live. Other alternatively you can always follow us on this stream so that you'll be notified if we are going live as well. Yep. So for myself and Randall, we will be right back with round three. See you. Bye. Oh, hi, Leonid. Hi, Leonid. And thanks, Veyon2, for the follow. Oh, yes, yes. Thanks, Veyon2. <laughs>